Since December last year, large areas in the north of England have experienced devastating flooding. A number of people have lost their lives. And many have been forced to move upstairs in their homes whilst some have had to abandon their homes altogether. For all the wrong reasons, the last couple of months will be a memorable time for the people of Cumbria. Christians in the area have seen this disaster as an opportunity to reach out and serve their community. One example is Paul Mogford, who, along with the team of volunteers, set up a cafe to help the victims of the flooding. CBN News visited the Bridge Cafe to hear about the impact they've been having. Immediately after the floods, um, the first priority is to get people out of the situation. And we started a flood relief centre, which is on the south side of the, um, of the river. Um, and this cafe started then about two weeks afterwards, two to three weeks afterwards. I've only been working in the cafe this last week, but every day we're getting somebody coming in, they're in tears, they're breaking down, and they, they need a safe place that they can tell their story, that they can come. It's been a community where they can meet with each other because there's a focal point that they know they've got a chance of meeting their neighbours, which if they just drop in to visit their house and see the workmen and go away again, there's nowhere else they can go. Um, so I think it's actually been a very important part um, for, in, for the community. And I think when you listen to people that are coming in, they're saying things like, we don't know what we would do without you, um, and we hope you're here for the long term. We also have over there a container full of food and cleaning materials that people were able to access. We were able to get in here, as I said, about two to three weeks after the flood, but obviously we had to wait for the waters to go down and for a clean-up and all that sort of stuff. It's just fantastic because you can come in any time, any time of the day and you can have coffee, sandwiches, whatever you want, you know. So, yeah, we, um, we're very highly delighted with it, you know, and the people who run it, you know. It's really, really give a good focal point for people to meet up to and talk. And very often just talking about the problems is half the battle, really. You know, it helps you to sort of recognise other people's problems, discuss what's going on. You get information there. The, the council have had a pretty constant uh, presence there, you know, giving, giving advice and information. So it's really, it's worked very, very well. And for some people, it's been one of the few sources of a hot meal, frankly. You know, we're lucky in that we've had, you know, some facilities here, but a lot of people haven't got that. So it's, uh, it's, work, it's worked very, very well, I think. Pretty, pretty constant throughout. You can see the mark on the cupboard here where the, the water came to. So it was about, it was over four foot high. Um, and, and it was slightly higher outside because, you know, the, the walls do hold a little bit out. And it was probably at, up to about this height outside. At the time when we were trapped upstairs, we actually, we actually cooked on a double uh, camping gas stove, which we had from our old camping days, which kept us going. And of course, we didn't have any power, so we had no lights or anything like that, so we were living by candlelight. This was shower, toilet, built-in hand basin area, um, plastic ceiling, magnolia walls, cushion, new cushion floor, new carpets right through. I'd just finished it and the tenant had been in 10 days, um, but to lose all this again, it's just so destroying it is. <laughs> Here in Cockermouth, people are still braced for the possibility of more flooding. Regardless of whether the water rises again, it will take months to repair the damage caused. CBN Europe has started a donation campaign to help those affected by the flooding. So far, it has enabled us to donate funds into the running of the Bridge Cafe, though CBN will continue to provide extended relief in this area, including teams on the ground and financial support. If you're interested in partnering with us today to help this community, you can call our offices on 0300 561 0700. Jonathan Phillips, CBN News, Cumbria.